All right, so we have the eighth pick. We're entering the draft now. Names have been copied. And I'm entering into the wheel of fortune. All right, let's see who's going to get this first pick here. Oh, it's giving me sound on it. Mr. Sauce, 78. Are you in chat? Mr. Sauce, 78. Need you to ch chime in in chat here to make the eighth overall selection. Mr. Sauce, 78. Where are you at, though? <laughs> Alright, I'll give him a bit of time here to to chime in. There he is. There he is, Mr. Saw78. Okay, so the rules are going to be pretty simple. You can, hey, and no one, you chat, you be quiet. You do not, I mean, you can try to sway him, but he, he's not going to listen to you. Don't spam chat with saying, get someone, get someone. If someone's new and needs help, then you can tell them stuff. All right, we're going to have the eighth overall selection. You can ask me to, like, sort by potential, do anything. Check out ratings, check out whatever you want. So that's essentially going to be what happens here. So we'll get up there. Shane Wright obviously goes first overall to Columbus. New York, second overall, gets Huxley an 81 medium elite power forward. Uh, Lambert, 76 medium elite, goes to the Senators. Savoie, medium elite, goes to the Kraken. Uh, Yurishek, 72 elite. Anaheim, 70 Elite, Geeky, 78 Holmquist, and we'll see. Let's see what is still here. There is an Elite, Salmonson. He's uh, the last, well, not the last guaranteed Elite. There is another Possible here, and then there's also Bell. It's just the difference of uh, right and left side. They're both two-way Ds. This is Salmonson. There's some other stuff here, Enroth, Lefty D. Kuleshov. There's a lot here that we just didn't get a whole ton of info on. So it's on you, Mr. Sauce. Who would you like to see? So. To your ETA on him. You know, yeah, also, you can ask for anything. If you know how this game works, you know what you want to see. One your ETA on this guy, however. Yeah, Salmonson probably is the best bet at this location. Um, the next guy coming is at, what, 16? And I'll give you some info in case we... Uh... Yeah, we don't. We have the 29 and the 30th. So Montreal actually did good. So yeah, it's either between those two, Salmonson or the other guy. Is Salmonson your final pick? Is it Salmonson or perhaps Bell? Bell. All right. I'm going to assume that's who you want as the final pick. He is tactically the better one with that better ETA as well. No negative traits either. No weaknesses in one-year ETA. Yeah, he confirms it right there. Exactly what I was saying. Eddie Bell will be the selection. The pundits and the analysts are maybe questioning it a little bit, but we know the truth right there. Our scout team got hit. Welcome to the organization. And we got an achievement. 72 meet him elite eighth overall and let's see if the sharks got that next guy they did so yeah it's the difference was four overall now Salmonson, they both have x factor so and it's this guy's got mailbox i don't i don't know what they mean yet this guy's got i have no clue what any of them mean 
<laughs> they got X-Factors, though. That's all we care about. Okay. Name removed here. I'm gonna double check. Maybe some more people have filtered in by this point. No, same. Same by the looks of it. Okay. So our next pick is 29th here. We're spinning the wheel again. Oh my goodness, it's so... Is that a tie? Oh! It's Jaren, Captain Kool-Aid. I thought it landed right on the tie because they were both blue colored. But it is Captain Kool-Aid. We'll have access to the 29th overall pick. So I, you should be around, Jaren. Shout yourself out in chat. And we'll be able to get up there and you can make your selection. I'll sim slowly while we wait. 70. Okay, he's here. 73 at top four. Not too bad. I'll scroll back a bit if we need to. But we don't. We don't really care. We don't really care. All right. So let's see. We got two picks in a row, essentially. So, uh, Mason, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to the viewer pick draft. Oh, good. You got not a whole lot of info. <laughs> ah, yeah. Nice scouting there, scouts. You got a guaranteed top six, guaranteed top nine. Yeah, everyone's in the spinner. If you're in chat, you've been in the spinner. Yes, I, yes, unofficial gamer. You are, I saw your name in there. In fact, you missed this one by about one little thing. It was you and Jaren right next to each other. And, yeah. <laughs> and I, I can't actually, I don't have the setup where I can show this the, the spinner on screen, unfortunately. Uh, so, so yeah, it's, I don't, I don't have my setup like that. I haven't, I figured I'll wait a little bit, uh, to, to start messing around with, uh, OBS because I didn't, you know, NHL, you know, got access to NHL pretty quick. So, okay, Jaren, um, what do you want me to do? There's a guaranteed top four here. Some more guaranteed top sixes. And thank you for the follow there, unofficial gamer. Appreciate it. As does Sheev Palpatine. So you got some guaranteed sixes, a guaranteed four, another defenseman, three-year ETA, three-year ETA on him. There's this guy who's a low, might be low elite, we don't know. Either three or four-year ETA, he is a gem. Yeah, as, as I, right as he said that too. It's another defenseman, but on the... Well, it's a righty on the left-hand side, so that's interesting. Um, character and grit. That's nice. Teammate utilization is bad, so he's not the best puck mover. Shoot, pinch. But might have X-Factor. Might. Or is that zone ability? Is that different? I don't know. Battles around the net. That's kind of cool. Mika Koskinen, huh? It's our scout. Bad skating. Well, the good news is I won't be playing any games. So, <laughs> don't worry about the skating. This is going to be pure sim. We are running out of time, however. Getting down towards that 30-second mark. There's also these two who are guaranteed. Lamoureux might be... Like, might be a top four. Does say he has leadership, but... I mean, you're taking a gamble. With what else is around there, it could be... Could just be a six or a or a or a nine, which obviously isn't great. So what are you thinking, Jaren? Agostino, is that your final answer? I'm gonna click it at five seconds, so I hope that's your final answer. Another defenseman. Had to make it. So there you go, 63 at top four, which kind of lines up for what else is around here. You got Leno and Janssen. You can't really complain about it. DFD. Yeah. Can't really complain. Now we do have one of our own. I'm going to use a timeout here just because they're right next to each other. And uh, give the next guy some more time. And I also want to take a look at the way this guy's built and stuff. Yeah, he's not the greatest skater, but it's honestly not terrible. <laughs> It's better than uh, Yakov Shmirnov. Decent, decently built defensively. Yeah, not not too shabby right there. So not a bad pick, all things considered. 
Well, I mean, I want to be sure because people will say names and that. Oh, I didn't really mean him. I was doing other stuff or whatever. So, I'm going to reset the, uh, the spinning wheel here. All right. For the next selection. Do it. We have thank you for the follow there, Gormy. Appreciate that. <laughs> this name crap. Duck Goose of Duck Gooseovitz. Amazing name, Duck Gooseovitz, and I hope you are in chat to claim your prize, which is the 30th overall selection of this draft. Duck Gusevich, or Duck Gusevitz, are you here? <laughs> Claim your prize, or the wheel shall spin again. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to give him about 10 seconds. Because even with a mobile lag, should have responded by this point. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, removed and spin again. Am I going to have to burn another time out here? We have Ice Wizards is the winner here ice wizards do we have an ice wizards in the house for the 30th overall selection ice wizards i'm looking in chat um uh oh Oh, no, it still says he's in chat, so. Are you here, Ice Wizards? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we're legit going to run out of time here, apparently. Ice Wizards has 10 seconds to claim his prize. Okay. <laughs> Again, spin the wheel. And this is Mason24237. Mason, I saw him chat earlier, so let's hope he's still here. Mason, are you here for the 30th overall? Yeah, exactly. It's me, Margaret. <laughs> Earth to Mason. There he is. All right, Mason. What would you like here for the 30th overall? We have a gear. We have back here some guaranteed guys. Kind of far off the board, but oh wait, Lazowski wasn't guaranteed. There's a guaranteed starting goaltender. This is pretty much a guaranteed, uh, a guaranteed top six. Uh, okay. By potential here. So, a couple maybe here. A lot of two tick elites. Nothing great. We go down to the lows. Well, still some mediums around here, but hard to say. One tick. Can you rely on it? But down here, we do have one confirmed guy at 52. Now, we do have, we should actually have picks with all the seconds we got. We should have other picks to get that. Now, the question is do you trust other people to get them? That's the big question. <laughs> That's the main big question. Several others, of course. Also, Carlson, ranked at 43, has the gem status, has the low status. So, any of these guys interest you that we want more info on? Let me know. Tron, how you doing, man? I appreciate the love. Thank you uh, very much for uh, the support.
go at the top, all right? So Edwards here is a 51. Uh, Malik is a goaltender way back here at 166. Edwards has five-year ETA. That's guaranteed five-year ETA. That's interesting. That's kind of early for seemingly five-year ETA. And possible X factor. Well, hard to say. Just get Edwards, he says. Okay. So Reginald Edwards has an incredible name. And he's from... Uh, Dad, uh, that's weird. Denmark? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Eh, I hope. All right, Reginald Edwards is the pick. So let's see. Five-year ETA. Holy crap! The instincts pay off W's in chat for Mason because he just found a medium elite at 55 overall projected around 50th and we snag him at 30th that that's wow i i was expecting him to be top six when i saw the et i was like it's possible it seems kind of early but it's definitely possible wow center sniper what are his 80 face-offs okay built kind of weird but he's got 80 face-offs. And he has incredible slap shot accuracy. Terrible wrist shot accuracy, but a hard wrist shot. Not that he's he's built weird, but who the hell cares? Because we just got 55 overall, 18-year-old, medium elite Reginald Edwards. That That's a sick pick. All right. Congrats to you, Mason. And uh, let's see what happens in this next one as I get... Get ready for this next spin. I'm going to spin it now so we don't run out of freaking time. <laughs> and we'll get up to our pick in a sec. Okay, the pick is going to uh, Remy Boy Fresh or Remy Boy Fresh 05. Are you here in chat, Remy Boy Fresh 05? I'll just call you Boy Fresh 05. Are you here in chat? You will be getting the eighth pick of the second round, which is 40th overall. Are you here? Boy Fresh 05. He is here. All right. Let's get up to the pick and get into it. 40th pick in the second round here. Here we are now. Carlson still available. Still the possible low elite available here. Another defenseman, but he's got that gem status. He's still here. Uh, CZ, I'm doing a. Uh, I have a spinning wheel that I copy and paste uh, chat's name into there. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, there's a bit of a lag there, Remy. Between what you hear and what I'm saying and seeing in chat. So, CZ, I have, I'm taking everyone's names from chat, and then I got a randomization wheel online that I'm spinning. And when someone gets selected, their name gets removed, and I try to remember their name so they don't get doubled. But there might be some doubles because there's so many picks in this first year. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know what you want to see. You can sort by potential. You can look at anyone you want. You can sort by positions. You can look at goalies, anything. Anything and everything. There is still another good chance at a top six. A guaranteed starter goaltender with two-year ETA. Cohen Green is not bad. Uh, but there's a guarantee, another guarantee uh, low elite here. An actual guarantee low elite. Two AD, uh, three-year ETA, shoot, pinch, wants to sort by potential. All right, so we got Malik, who is projected 166. Way the heck over here. Uh, not a ton of info for these guys in here. Pair Christensen, four year ETA, I don't know. Not a ton in the way of uh medium elites, but in the low elites, as I said, we do have the one guarantee. And uh another definitely probable here in Carlson. Uh 
Um, I, I, I wouldn't know, Freddy. I, I haven't been able to test the gameplay out too much. Just a little bit of be a pro. So I'm not too sure. Other than that, in the elites, you got guys down here who hard to really say. All right, clock is ticking here. 45 seconds to make a decision. Thirty seconds. Carlson. He says Carlson. Ulf Carlson. The uh, defenseman coming out of Sweden. He's the selection and a guarantee. Yep. Low elite. 63 overall. Defensive defenseman. And a possible X factor of the future. He's got some superstar abilities. Needs to obviously get better. He's got no contest. Great puck battling. Quick pick. Good puck interceptions. Ice pack. Shot blocking. Net battling. Bouncer. Elite rush defending. This guy is a shutdown defenseman extraordinaire. Now we do have another pick right here. Oh, I'm going to have to go with the timeout again because it's just too little time. So we're spinning the wheel again. And let's see. Who the winner is going to be. And it is CZ92. CZ. You are here. I know you're here. Claim your prize. You have the 41st selection of the draft. Who would you like to look at? Who would you like to draft? Scroll down to 50. I'm at 50. <laughs> you're looking for uh, you're looking for a medium elite pattern. Um hard to say. Really hard to say. Because we don't have a ton of info. There's the guy has zero weaknesses. Um, other than that, we know nothing about him. No ETA, no nothing. Moberg. Duh. Yeah, and then the rest. So pretty, pretty tough here. Show him Anthony. Anthony is uh, right here. So another defenseman, another righty, two AD, elite speed, balanced defense zone play, no perceived weaknesses. Three-year ETA with shoot pinch, which we've already drafted someone with shoot pinch, so that is good. Um, zone ability, wheels, most likely. Exceptional agility, speed, and acceleration when with the puck. So this guy's pretty good puck mover. The indicator is triggered when the defender is burned. Okay. It's always active. I, I see. So that's an always active thing. So this guy's going to be a fast boy. So, with I, I don't know how the X-Factors work in play, but they definitely do help with chemistry and stuff like that, so. This is really the only kind of guarantee around this area, but I mean, it looks to be like he is a superstar X-Factor. It's, it's three tick, but I mean, we got all the info on him. He looks pretty good. Speed on the defense. No, it says speed when with the puck. Yeah, he's a fast boy. Definite fast boy. Anyone else you want to see? A lot of defensemen. Oh, yeah, yeah, he has elite speed. Sort by potential, okay. Uh, still Malik in there. Uh, Savoie, way later. Four-year ET on him. Uh, Rochette, 
Again, still later. Two-year ETA with leadership, but he's 20 and needs to bulk up. Uh, Pair Christensen at 94. Four-year ETA, no perceived weaknesses. Not a ton in the way of that. And then you got some here. Clifford Rodney, who's got four-year ETA. Arnsby, four-year. Who's likely... There's got a... Man, that's probably four-year, too. It's three ticks. And four-year here. So, yeah, not a whole ton of stuff. And a lot of these guys are real, too. And we know what that means. Less likely to really be much of anything. All right. He wants to go with Anthony. The Italian Stallion. Elite speed, balanced defensive zone play. Three-year ETA. Shoot, pinch, medium elite. We'll grab him. 64. So he's actually slightly better than Carlson. And we just got more... Def I think we got an all-defenseman. We got elite defenseman. And then we got... Uh, top four defenseman. Then we got the medium elite sniper, which was the best pick so far of this draft. And then, uh, yeah, a couple more defensemen. So, our defensive prospect pool. Is that Hungary? I always get those mixed up. Uh, literally. It's... Yeah, one goes that way. One, Yeah, I know. It's, I, it's the colors. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. 17. I mean, he's got he's got all he's got all day. He's got all day to grow. Okay, our next pick is coming up at the 15th of the second round here. Let me reset the spinning wheel. And see who we got. All right. The wheel is spinning. Who is going to get the next selection? Oh, wait. We got the 11th. Never mind. <laughs> it's only in one. Uh, oops. That's someone who already went. Remove. Try again. And this is... Tron already went, right? Did Tron go? Actually, no. He didn't. I, I'm, I'm losing count now. Anyway. Tron1191, are you here? I'm pretty sure he didn't. Well, there he is. He confirms it. Tron is here. You get this next selection. What I'm going to do is let this time run out a bit, and I'll show you draft class. Just so we have a bit more time to look at stuff. So what would you like to see? I know there's a delay and stuff between me and chat. Maybe some people are on mobile. That's an even more delay between chat and what, what, I, uh, what I say and what they hear coming out. So what do you like, Tron? There is a goaltender here. Who is only starter potential, yes. But he's got two-year ETA. Good glove hand, good angles, puck handling. Apparently no weaknesses. And maybe he isn't, even has X-Factor. Actually, yes. He 100% confirmed to have Contortionist. So there's that. He already has his pick, he thinks. Okay. Who are you thinking there, Tron? What were you thinking? You don't want to look at anything? Don't want me to sort by anything? Go with Green the goalie, he says. All right. I, I'd say that's a pretty damn good selection. That, that ETA on that starter is very impressive. Again, it is still only starter, but he's guaranteed to make it. If he gets to mid-80s, that's sometimes all you need. How many times have we seen mid-80s goaltenders win cups and then or, or just get stat growth and dominate? So he's going with uh, Cohen Green here. What do you mean by 71? <laughs> the cheese indeed. Cohen Green, 70 overall. Starter. Oh, that's what he was guessing. Wow. Uh, CZ, that was an incredible guess. <laughs> 70 overall. One off. One off for CZ. I'm like, why are you saying 71? And he's just... Pfft. Yeah. Great guess by CZ right there. And that's a great pick. Cohen Green, 70 overall. Medium starter. 
me likey. All right, next pick here is at here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Let's spin the wheel. Okay. Uh, has an unofficial gamer won? Have you gone? If not, you were very close, and I might give it to the person that you were closest to. Unofficial gamer. Have you, have you gone? I already lost track of who's gone here. So we're going to have to go by the honor system if you have gone. I mean, we, we, we might repeat at the uh, at some point because we still have quite a few picks, at least here in the second. We have two more in the second. All right, not a ton more picks. So I'll try my best not to duplicate, especially for this one. So unofficial gamer, I see you in chat. Have you gone? Or is this your pick? If not... That's right, that's right. Okay, that's why I remember you. I was out of sneaking. Alright, so here you are. Here you are. So Jesse will have to wait. Because <laughs> Jay is right next to uh, Jesse, too. He was so, so close. I thought we were going to have to deal with him making a meme pick here in the freaking second round. So, what would you like to take a look at? Do it. I'm just going to let the uh, draft go as we go. We'll get up to our pick when we're ready to take it, and that'll save us on the timeout. Squirtle Kitten, appreciate the follow. Chief Palpatine sends his regards. Thank you very much. Squirtle's actually a great Pokemon. I almost, I almost choose it as my starter for my last, my, my, my run through I'm doing right now, but I can't help it. Charmander is love. Charmander is life. And I just, it's its hard. Especially when you can get Gyarados. It's like, eh. Squirtle up to Blastoise is awesome. But, I could also just have Gyarados. You know you know what you do, Jesse. Uh, thank you for the follow as well, Tristan. I just lost EA servers. Uh-oh. Did that mean I lost internet? Uh, it still looks good on mine. I'm making sure my stream didn't go down. Is it just EA? It's just EA. Alright, launch day, baby. Launch day. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I had to, I had to double check. Uh, what about left wingers? Them left wingers. So just left wingers, I'm assuming, he wants to look at. Or did you mean there were certain left wingers? Alright, well, we have... He's not the worst starter. He's the best, actually. Thank you. You know why? Because I'm the best. We got Slavkovsky, we got a, never mind, Slavkovsky, low six guarantee with leadership, likes crash the net, he's got a hard wrist shot, no weaknesses, I mean, it's, it ain't bad, it's like three or ETA with that, that still ain't too bad, and there's a guarantee top nine here, and then there's a guy one tick away from AHL, so theoretically he can only be bottom six, and he was scouted recently, yeah, 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 I mean, Bulbasaur, you can... That's, Bulbasaur is probably good for speed runs, because you get through those first two gyms insanely quickly, and then you can power level. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy knows what's up. I smoke him for breakfast too with Ember, level nine. Come at me, bro. Again, why have Bulbasaur when you can have Victory Bell? So much better. All right, probably not better, but Victory Bell's awesome. Blue Verge sucks. <laughs> I need more water. Uh, yeah, trying to go with not a defender. I don't blame me here. Uh, let me show you all forwards then. So, we still got this Lazowski guy. Could be top nine, could be top six. Hard to say, but he's got three year ETO. Uh, Vero, hold on. Where was he? Vero, Vero. Um, uh, leadership ability confirmed. Uh, hard to say what his ETA is. We have one tick on it. So anywhere from one to four years, pretty much. Or NHL ready to four years. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Doubt he's NHL ready. Small boy. He's a small boy. We got kicked out.
but he's not he's not horrible by any means. It's just can you trust him possibly being low elite with a guy at 70 here as guaranteed low top six? That's the big question. And without an ETA, it's kind of hard to answer that question. Other than that, more near. You got this Cronwall guy, another defender. Watch him be an actual. Watch him be a freaking low elite. So we got this camel guy. Interestingly, Lamoro has five year ETA, but is he oh no, it could be four year, sorry. And as good as he can get should only be top four. He's a big dude, he's six seven. Again, another defenseman, but <laughs> I just noticed Maverick Lamoro is six foot seven. Should be playing basketball. Most of these guys are real. Except for Yakimovs, who is a complete unknown. Unfortunately, we don't have his ETA either. Lazowski is... Yeah, I mean, he doesn't look bad. Three or ETA with behind the net. It's He's either going to be top nine or top six. It's it's hard to kind of say. We don't have much guarantees around him to kind of spot a pattern. The next one here is top nine. And that is guaranteed. But, I mean... The only thing that's perceivably better is a low six, which is way, way back here. So, I mean, he could do it. He could be a top six. Nikitin is three-year guaranteed. Lizowski is also three-year guaranteed. So, kind of hard to, hard to say, but it seems like he might be top nine, but you don't have a ton of options for steals around here. So what are you thinking? I don't think this is our pick yet with one minute left. So we still got some time. But we don't want to wait too long. You say Nikitin. Uh, where the hell is Nikitin? Uh, Nikitin. Uh, winger playmaker, three year ETA. Is that your final answer? Lock it in like millionaire, baby. All right, now it's officially our pick. All right, I'm assuming I'm going to give him about 10 seconds to confirm. If not, I'm assuming they, he meant Nikitin. <laughs> and is confirming Nikitin. All right, Alexander Nikitin, top 9, 62 overall. Slightly better overall than some guys. But hard to say. It's right when they uh, sort of turned over here. Our next pick, uh, the last one of the second round that we have, I believe. Yep, is 25 of the second round. And I'm going to reset the wheel here as we continue to have people coming in and out. I just don't want to don't want to be missing anyone. In the wheel, so here we go. Clear that. Paste. Spin the wheel. And Streamlabs, okay. <laughs> Remove. All right, that's just, it's. <laughs> okay, Freddy Fudpucker. Freddy Fudpucker, I know you're here. We know you're here, Freddy. I'm going to sim up close to that next pick. The 57th overall. In this draft, so you have a bit of time, and it won't be showing you guys. Yeah, your name's still in there, Jesse. Just hasn't uh, hasn't been selected, unfortunately. Freddy, you here still? Sim up a couple more. Give us time as well as an accurate count. Okay, Freddy Fudpucker is here. Find him some grinders. Uh, the man after my heart. Well, here's one possible. Johan uh, Pedersen, possible grinder. No weaknesses. Don't know much else about him. There's one. 
Um, it's kind of hard to uh, to sort for him. But there's one possible in, in, in Patterson or Peterson. One or the other. It should be theoretically after the, the goaltenders. But it's not because it goes to 2 AD, and I don't like that at all. But this is technically the fastest way to get to it. No, Jesse, you were going to, I was, uh, you were, you were going to be chosen if the other guy didn't show up, because your name was almost selected, it was right next to it. But since the other guy showed up, I spun the wheel. Good lord. There we go. Here are the grinders, the possible grinders, some of them confirmed, a low bottom six grinder way back at the 170, maybe, maybe here at 94, Pear Christensen. No perceived weaknesses for your ETA with Crash the Net. He can be anywhere from elite to top nine, if you trust it. Uh, there's that Peterson guy we are looking at again. No weaknesses, but that's all we know, that he has no weaknesses, which is pretty good to have. And also not a guaranteed grinder. With his strengths, possibly maybe looking like more of a power forward, but he's kind of small for a power forward. So we don't know. Maybe two-way. I don't know where that guy's going to go. Uh, guaranteed medium bottom six way back here 172 and other is a Christensen your answer just got booted off the screen or <laughs> is you still there I mean you're here yeah reload the player I don't know what's going on it's I, I it still says I'm streaming so it's still going through hold on let me tell him to reload okay Christensen is the answer. Ah, I just almost screwed things up. Yeah, I don't know why it's been booting people. Uh, all right, let's get up to our actual pick then. Christensen is going to be the guy. I kind of like this. Oh, yeah, because actually Peterson went, so good choice. I forgot. He was actually a top nine. So good. Good thing that wasn't your pick. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Where was he at? Like 90-something? I must have passed. No, there he is. Yeah, no, there he is. Christensen. So, off the board selection. However, pray it shades of the old Freddy. Oh, if it's the old Freddy, man, we're going to be we're gonna be feasting like kings. Pair Christensen. Oh, I was really hoping. I was really hoping for a medium elite steal. I was really, really hoping. But with that four-year ETA, it was going to be tough. And he's going to be a top nine. It's not bad. Really not bad top nine. Uh, it's a grinder, so... What else do you want? Top nine, make the NHL. That's all we need out of him. He has decent face-off. 69, not bad. Also nice. Uh, built pretty fairly. Not really anything standing out in a weird uh, way. So I like the pick. Smaller for a grinder, but hey, you need those role players. 61. We'll see how he does. We'll see if he makes it. Our next pick will be coming up in the third round here at 8th. So as I get that set up, go up to the next round here. And we'll go a couple picks before. And it gets set up. So the chat likes it. The chat's saying W. I've converted you all to grinder lovers. Let's go. All right, we'll go a couple picks before so we have time to run everything. Let us see here. We just got a bunch of other people in my chat too, so hold on. Let me re uh, put everyone else in here. Welcome if you are just joining us to the viewer pick draft. So let's reset that and spin the wheel, raggedy man. We move. All right. And it is. Babe and it, babe and in, or babe and in. I want everybody's head about the babe. Babe and in. Are you here? Will you claim the eighth pick of the third round? 72nd overall of this N3 draft. Jeopardy theme song plays. What are you laughing at? Jeopardy theme song plays. <laughs> ultimate. Or ultimate. Uh, you are the ultimate gamer now. Thank you very much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. 
Jack Nicholson appreciates it. All right, Babe and In has not claimed the prize. He's got about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, two and a quarter. No, just kidding. All right. Remove. All right. Spinning the wheel again. We have Spike Trap Claire. Spike Trap Claire, are you here? Are you available to make this pick? Spike Trap Claire. See, this is why I stopped a couple of picks before. <laughs> Takes a while to just get the person here. Jeopardy thing song intensifies and goes heavy metal. All right. Oh, Jesse, stop that. I You got me real excited right there. You son of a bitch. All right, spin it again. You never know, Jesse. Yeah, it might it might hit you this time. Uh, Mr. Sauce already went, I believe. I had to reset the wheel. Hockey champ eleven two six hundred. Hockey champ, are you here? Will you be making the selection? Does the shoe fit? On Hockey Champ. 11 to 600. Oh, alright, Zinthi, what do you want me to do as I wait for Hockey Champ to shout himself out in chat or to spin the wheel again? Some people are really missing out, man. We got some people missing out on these sick picks. It's a third round. Thank you, the Duke Jr., for the follow. I do appreciate that. Sheaf Palpatine sends his regards. Do it. We out here. We out here. We're the Sith boys. Although I am a great Jedi, so. Good God. This is 0 for 3, hockey champ. Are you here? <laughs> Corey Taylor? What do you mean, Corey Taylor? How does he even talk? I ain't screaming. I've never heard the guy talk. He wears a mask. And he sings. I'm not... Yeah, you, you can't activate impression and also demand me to sing. Nah, 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 nah. Those are separate. And I don't know how to do that one. I know some singing impressions. But not that one. I don't... I never listened to Slipknot. I'm sorry. Alright, so I guess we're spinning again here. Hey, Tugi's here. He's alive. He wants me to... So play. Oh my goodness. It's that Goose Duckovich guy. Is he is he gonna say something? Is that a bot? Like am I getting view botted right now? Am I gonna get banned from Twitch? Duck Goosevitz, are you here this time? <laughs> you missed out on our top pick. Someone wants to trade with us. This is good. We're gonna wait on this screen now. Until someone freaking claims this pick. Duck Goose of it's please, for the love of God. I'm going to give it to Jesse in a second. I'm just going to give it to Jesse. This is, this is the fourth person that we've selected here. The fourth friggin' person, man. This is crazy. All right, I'll have, I'll have a runoff between Zinthi and and Jesse. Since no one from fucking chat wants to claim anything, we're going to have a runoff. I got a coin right here. Heads, it's Jesse. Tails, it's Zinthi. Just kidding. That was Jesse. I got heads. I saw it, and then I was like, nah. 
No one wants the meme pic. There it is. All right, Jesse. You're on the clock. You're on the clock, Jesse. You have three minutes. Tell me what you want, what you really want to want. No, tell me what you want, what you really want. I want to, I want Anyway, Zinthi, you still need me to, uh, give me a, give me a new impression. I ain't doing Corey. I can't do Corey Taylor. Such a bizarre, imp that's such a specific, normal impression. Trevor Wong. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be something like that. I legit knew. He just, without fucking, yeah. <laughs> Trevor Wong. Oh, boy. Two Wongs don't make a, make a right. Hey, you know what? He, he's got three year ETA. He's 19. Remember, again? You want me to do another Mickey for? All right. Ho oh, ho. We got Jesse in here wants Trevor Wong to get drafted. Ho oh, ho. He used to be really good. Remember that when he was going to be a medium elite? Ho oh, ho. But now, he's only top nine. He won't even get on the small world ride. Ho oh, ho. You know why? Because he's in there. He's singing in the river. Ho oh, ho. Trevor Wong is the selection. I'm assuming 65 top nine. Not actually that bad, all things considered, except being top nine. He's 5'8". I made a short guy joke. <laughs> Alrighty. Our next pick is in the fourth round, I believe. Yes, sir. On to the next round, 104. And it is... Eight. All right, so I think everything is going to be like kind of in place here. So let's go up a couple. Stringer, nice power forward. Go a couple before it. If I go one before it and then go on the trade screen, I should be able to freeze the timer. No, no, it doesn't work. It's only when you're offered a trade. What? Wait, wait, wait. Why is this guy in the draft? Don't the sharks... Jeremy Biaka Budica was drafted in 2000. Oh, sorry. Is there two of them? Is it? I thought the Sharks. He was at the Sharks training camp. Interesting. <laughs> Not too sure what to make of that. Anyway, let's 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 spin the wheel here. Let's uh, reset the wheel. Hopefully. We don't have three people not claiming their frickin' prize this time. Users in chat, come on now. Oh my goodness. Clicker, work. Click! Thank ya. Alright. Please no one leave. Please don't do it. Someone's gonna leave right now as I said that, by the way, just to troll me. Welcome to Twitch. Welcome to the internet. Alright. Spinning the wheel, raggedy man. The winner will be Spike Trap Claire. I feel like I called that name out and I feel like this person didn't claim their pick. Spike Trap Claire. Are you here? Are you there? Are you anywhere? We're going to call rigged every time. Someone yell stop the count in all caps, please. Alright, Spike Trap Claire is anywhere but here, apparently. So remove and spin. <laughs> he just followed. You know him as the Duke Jr. And he just won the spinning wheel if he left within seven minutes am i that bad at twitch <laughs> i'm gonna start to think i should give up the duke jr are you here you have the uh 100 something pick 104th
104th pick for the Duke Jr. Maybe he followed and then left. Except he was just in chat. I'm actually kind of wondering if, like, my chat's on a certain setting where people can't do anything, but I don't think so. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, followers only chat's off, slow mode's off, sub subs only is off. Good gracious! Am I gonna just give it away again to someone actually in chat who's speaking? Spin it again! We have Lily Tough. Or Lily Tough. I'm assuming it's Lily Tough. Which is very Pokemon sounding. <laughs> this is some cheese indeed, man. That's some cheese. I might give it to Dylan if this is like, what, the third person again? Third time's a charm? And then I give it away. Lily Tough, are you here? Are you... <laughs> are you ready to make a selection? Come on, cuh. <laughs> oh, something bad just happened. Ah. <laughs> okay. Zinthi, your pick. Your pick. Oh! Oh, never mind. That's, I thought that was the person, but that is not. My Jota, uh, what kind of schedule do I have? I usually will stream around 5 p.m. Pacific time. Schedule-wise, day-wise, kind of varies right now. Based, uh, I'll be live tomorrow. Saturday I won't be. I'm doing an eSports cast. But I will 100% be live tomorrow and then most likely on Sunday. As this is uh, pretty fresh NHL 22, I'll be going live quite a bit with this. So show draft class. It might get uh, booted out here pretty quick because the next pick's coming up. But we have a we have a steal right here. Well, a gem right here, I should say. Two tick to elite. Guaranteed power forward. Three-year ETA. Goal scoring pro release. With that gem status. That's looking like your best bet here. And now we're actually on the pick. So you're on the clock now, officially. And I appreciate you, uh, Joda, for uh, enjoying the content. YouTube is still my main priority. And I'm going to plan on having a Be A Pro in a Franchise episode out daily for uh, weeks and weeks to come, hopefully. And I'm gonna, I would like to also keep on the NBA thing, but that's kind of on the back burner now that N I got access to NHL 22. All right, Gringoren Gringorenko, Postmas, man, this guy. This guy comes in here hooting and hollering with his check mark. All right, Ilya Grigorenko for Zinthi. Oh, I really thought he might have been low elite, but he gets the low six with the gem status. So you got to wonder what that means. No X factor. <laughs> oh my, why don't you have a sword? What is going on? Lol, you're just not a mod. <laughs> What is even going on? There you go. I watch him immediately just... Somehow I give him the mod ship and he blows up my channel. <laughs> so Ilya Grigorenko, I like it. I'm about that life. Alright. We... I think, yeah, I think all the next picks are just our own. So let's get up to the next round. And get up a couple picks before. And I'll spin the wheel and hope like hell the person didn't abandon... Chat. <laughs> there you go, Zinthi. All right. Let's reset the spinning wheel. And eventually I'll get a bot in here so it does this for me. Or the bot will break and I'll go back to the spinning wheel. Tugi knows all about that. <laughs> Let us see. Oh, 
Okay. That's okay. It went to someone who went before because I had to reset it. But right next to it is one tick away from my Jota. So we're going to hand it to you because it literally. Literally. I, I thought it was on you, actually. All right. So my Jota. Mason already went, so it's going to be you up. And we'll get up another pick so you have a better idea of what's going on. Oh, God damn you, Zinthi. I was just standing here. Yes, Joda. You want me to sing? Oh, God. That's that's a double request, but I'll do it. Ooh, Tugi, when you come in my chat, I gotta say your presence brings me true lovely feelings. I'll show you the draft class, but I gotta continue to sing. Cause we got this goalie who might be elite. Three -re TA, maybe four. There you go. Sing mode has been fulfilled. <laughs> I don't know if Tuggy stuck around to get that, but you know what? Someone, I'll clip that shit. <laughs> it only does 30 seconds. Let's hope it gets it all. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you guys can clip it too, assholes. Making me do all the work. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you for the crown. What do you want to see? That see Zinthi. Zinthi knows what's good. And he, he names it in everything. Beautiful. Stahlberg gotta love Swedes. That is that is true. Stahlberg goaltender five, maybe five year ATN. That's a good good kind of bet. Appreciate you, Zinthi. I'm gonna lay that out on Twitter. And so is is Stahlberg your actual pick? You're going, you're going kind of off the board here? It's not too far off the board, honestly. Yeah, it's not too far off the board. Is that going to be your selection? Let me move up so we don't get bumped out. They go for Tuck and Tynan. And that is going to be his selection. All right. Get out of here. Where was he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, Jesper Stahlberg. Definitely has a chance. Definitely has a chance to be an elite. It says he lacks character. Or he has a weak character and lacks size. But, Jesper Stahlberg. Will you be a blind pick seal? Boom! Jesper Stahlberg! You gotta have confidence in your face there, Jota. Have confidence because you just got a medium elite steal in the first round. Not a complete blind pick, but a pretty blind pick. We won't call you Ray Charles. But we'll... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's horrible. I'm sorry. I love Ray. What a pick, though. Jesper Stahlberg. Big dub. Big dub. I only see one dub in chat. How dare you guys. Big fucking dubs. I gotta... I gotta... <sighs> I gotta stand up and stretch. Oh, just to appreciate... The size of that dub. Whew. Good gracious. Good pick there, Zoda. That was beautiful. Tron hits us with the uh, W spam. I like it. All right, Simon, next round where the 168 will be coming. We only got two more picks of this draft, I believe. Posture check. I just stretched. You go fuck yourself with your posture check. <laughs> the grinder went Ow. I need to make that one more expensive not just kidding definitely get on me about my posture my posture is, could be better all right let's uh let's bring the wheel back up we got two more picks the wheels back up 
The way is shut. Oops. What happened here? It like it's all spread out. There we go. Okay, spinning the wheel. Alright. V and K, are you here? V and K. V underscore and underscore K. Are you here? Did you... Do you have a selection for our eighth pick in the sixth round? V and K has 10 seconds to claim his prize. Nine, eight, seven, six, Two. One. I was counting in my head. Bet you guys can't do that. Holy shit, I'm talented. Woo! Alright. Spinning the wheel once again. R Rangers 61. Do we have Rangers 61 in the house? Rangers 61. Do we have you in the house? <laughs> I swear, I think I'm like getting it right as people like come in and then they freaking immediately leave. And so, yeah, that's, I think that I got that going down. <laughs> Zinthi wants to meet you there, Ranger 61. Maybe he's walking, maybe he's a fan of the Texas Rangers. How do you know? Way to make assumptions there, Zinthi. I should do a complete blind pick. I might. Especially with the way this is going. I'm spinning again. Spinning the wheel again. And I might have a, a double happen. Because it just... How did I not, how did I not remove him? Alright, Mr. Sauce, are you still here? Alright, and you know what? Anyone who is in chat and been lurking and hasn't had their name called, just put something in chat right now and I, I would like to give away a pick to one of you guys. Because I know there's some people who haven't been put on the board or maybe they've missed it. I keep saying Ice Wizards is in here. Someone named Impler in here. DTV. Maybe it's DTV. We'll see. Maybe they're just lurking. So Mr. Sauce... Alright, I just, we got Mr. Sauce here, so maybe for the last pick I'll give one away. Wait for the lurkers to come out. If they don't come out, I'll take a blind pick. I'll do it. I'll be a viewer. I watch myself. Okay, so I'll show you draft, excuse me, show you draft class here. Mr. Sauce, uh, we got another goaltender who could be an elite, honestly. Uh, but he actually might go. He's projected at 166, but this guy hasn't gone yet. This guy's next. So, no guarantee he stays there. What would you like to see? Oh, you mean not... Oh, you mean an actual blind pick. Like me blindly picking someone. That's that, that's like a double blind pick. <laughs> that's a blind blind pick. An actual... Hurt my soul, blind pick. Alright, Mr. Sus. Mr. Sus, let's go. Alright, so Malik, the top potential. Also, these two guys, but they're also real, so we probably know they're not really going to pan out. But yeah, Malik is, again, a long shot. There's The only low elite close to him are one ticks. Uh, we have a two tick way back here of a low, possible low elite for these. No possible low elites here for the forwards. None for, damn. Kind of slim pickings at the end. There is one possible low elite back here, Yanni Kapanen at 196. Other than that, can't really say with any certainty any of these guys are going to pan out. 
five-year ETA on that guy. I did not watch Squid Game. I never even watched Tiger or whatever. <laughs> Tiger, what was it called? Tiger Kingdom? I don't fucking know. Tiger something. Five-year ETA. Four-year ETA. Five years. So, most likely the five years are the ones you want to look at. But, of course, they're both defensemen. <laughs> this guy is a center. Five-year on him. See if Mallet goes. Okay. Let's see if Mallet goes. He's going to have to be quick after that. He does not go. Malik does not go. Malik is on the board. So, Ma uh, or, or Malik or Malik. Nick. And Nick the dick. No weaknesses. Glove hand, puck hand. He has good puck handling. So, we got Mike Smith. He's six foot two. Also, well, that should actually move to four year ETA. He's also 20, though. So, I mean, that's still an elite possibility. All right. So, his pick is Malik final answer Nick Malik starter at 60 not horrible not amazing but 60 overall 20 he's gonna have to grow like a weed if he wants to become much of anything but that's kind of where we're at all right so none of the people who were lurking had chined up right so I'm just gonna take take the blind pick I'm not a Mike Smith oh we don't have another pick oh we didn't have a seven perfect well, there you go. We didn't have a seven anyway. So there we are. That's a lot of picks. Was that actually 12? Not that we were doing limitations, but that actually lined up to be 12. Three, six, nine. Damn, you're fine. Yeah. Boom. We just did the thing. 